Okay. Um. <sighs> Hello, everybody. This is the Azuba Collegiate Champions Week 2 Elise Division with the University of Illinois on the left side and Northern Illinois University on the right side. One of the guys from NIU is stuck in the longing queue, so we are just going to start the pitch and dance and wait while this guy logs in, which is fine, I guess. Um, this is game two of week two. Game one went to Northern Illinois University, who is on purple side now. Um, and we are in the pitch and dance now. So first pick, I mean first fan out of where you see is going to be Sen. Sen was very powerful in the last game. Um, Managed to hold a 2v1 link very well, um, and in the late game was simply doing some things and split pushing, which put a timer on all of UIUC's actions because you have to do things quickly or then we just push down your towers. This, this was a problem. Um, on the other side, Blitzcrank is going to be banned out by NIU, same thing as last time, which is fine. Mouth is going to be the next ban out of UIUC. Um, so, the thing, so, Malphite being of the strong AOE, same thing, it was banned last time as well, so it's just a generic ban. But this time, UIUC, it was, of course, sure to not um, let them through. Um, as I predicted, NIU did in fact do the lane swap, and um, as it turns out, Darius is not very good in a 2v1 situation, which is kind of what I expected. I expected Sen to also not be very good in a 2v1 situation, which is why I didn't expect they would, would actually do that. But they did it, and it worked out very well for them. Um, second ban is going to come out of NIU relatively shortly. Um, I don't know what I would expect as the second ban. Um, but let's see what they're going to put out. I would expect if they want to 2v1 again, they would should ban out things. Um, because otherwise UIUC will probably be first taking that. You will use it on blue side this time, so it makes sense. That they would have, that they would leave that open? That, um, you will use would have the first pick, so they wouldn't leave that open. I'm, I don't, I, my words aren't working yet. They will be shortly. Um, Ban out of NIU. Um, what gives them trouble last time? I guess the Morgana was pretty strong. Out on uh, day one, the Morgana, pretty good. I would read they could ban that out. Um, but day one, of course, does have a lot of very powerful champions. Um, Oriana being one of those. Wait, what? Um, wait, what the hell? Oh. Okay, it didn't slow down. Um, Olaf, and then a Moomoo will band out. Um, oh, there we go. Okay. Um, Olaf and Amumu are going to be banned out. Um, Olaf and Amumu, I think, were banned out last time as well. Um, the final ban is going to be out of NIU. I would imagine it would... Twisted Fate. There are reasons for Twisted Fate. Well, you see picks Mundo right away. Um, so this is... Mina was actually banned out last time, and apparently for good reason. Because, um, UIUC apparently really wanted that. 
I haven't been keeping up with this. I probably should be though. Um, this is open if they wanted to be one. That'd be pretty nice. Um, what else is open? Morgana and Cautious are both still open. Corgi is still open. The Corgi from last game was pretty strong. I might want to do that again. Who was his support? Um, Sona. Sona. Right. Um, Sona's still open. Sona's not... First pick tier, though. Corgi might be. Um, or Cautious might be if they want to run that. Um, Cautious and Nocturne. So, Cautious is going to be into the mid lane. Um, Nocturne going to be into the jungle. Not one of very strong jungle, so um, he's actually one of my favorites, as some people may know. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna be yelling at the NIU jungle every time he does something that is different from what I would do as Not one because I'm one of those people. Um, Cossus was the same man they know as last time by um, I believe it was Lost Runo. Pretty, pretty decent process. Altered at all the appropriate time. Secured some very good kills with that. Um, let's see what we have out of your UC. Do you see picks Morgana and Soraka? So Mundo was the first one. Um, Morgana gonna be into the mid lane. Soraka as the support. Soraka could be the mid lane, and Morgana could be the support. But I wouldn't recommend that, and I certainly hope they're not doing that. Um, huh? So. So last time Morgana went out pretty well against Carter. Um I, 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 I know you picked Jay's Carrick. Carrick was the one that was missing from the ban list. The one that I always ban out when I captain. Especially in just I mean just in general. I really hate Carrick. Um Jay's Carrick is very strong, very aggressive bottom lane. Um and yeah, that's actually going to be pretty painful. It's pretty bursty. Um, nice stable. Pretty strong. Doesn't scale very well into the late game. And um, since UIUC already picked out the Soraka, they're probably going to pick out an ADK that scales out very well into the late game. So UIUC's bottom lane is probably going to scale harder than NIU. That made sense. Good. M my words are coming out a, a, little, a little bit better. Thankfully, um, well, UAEC, uh, to pick the final two, it's gonna be a top laner, and, or I guess Minu could be the top laner, but probably a top laner, and the ADK, um, then NIU is going to pick out their top laner. So, UIUC has to pick out a top lane that is not countable. Um, I would... Oh, right! We're not playing range master this game. So there's no jinx. Um, Brimlock can do the Irelia. I'm waiting for... I, I'm i anticipating Irelia Corky. I'm calling it. It's going to be Irelia Corky out of the UIUC team. Ezreal Irelia. Okay. Well, Ezreal is another one of those trinities. Um, and Irelia, yeah, as the top laner. Um, so if, uh, I don't know, you want to do some QT swap, that'll work with the Irelia. And, um, well, I guess, yeah, if I don't, if, if I don't, you pick the Jace, it'll be pretty scary, actually. But, um, huh. Uh, 
Um, so, in, in ADK, Cloak is still open. Oh wait, no. They picked the grave. Um, they want a tap lane, oh, right. What counters Irelia? Nothing counters I, I, There's nothing that really counters, but extremely hard. What's the thinking like? I don't know. Tail? That seems, that seems kind of silly. Um, I don't think they'll be doing that though. It's probably what I would pick against Irelia, but I'm not a very good top laner. And their top laner looks pretty good. Um, so, oh no, Center's banned out. Um, they want a lane swap? Really? Kogath is going to be the top laner from NIU. Okay. I will, um, Kogath is going to have difficulty against Tyrellia, I think. I'm pretty sure Tyrellia is supposed to win that, that lane. Does that sustain Kogath quite a bit? Um. Huh. I thought Irelio was able to put enough damage onto Choga for that to work. Um. There could be lane swapping, but Choga I don't think is a very good TV1. Kind of odd. Well, I guess they're gonna surprise me. It's a lot, not on top lane. I am not casting this. Because not on top, really? Um, bands, as was said, in chat earlier. Um, send my fight a moo moo. Let's think Olaf TF. I don't know why the TF is banned. That was very odd. I don't know what they were expecting. I guess this is a confidence ban, and like, you know, we're not, haha, <laughs> Evelyn. Cossus. Yeah. Linux gonna be the jungle as Mundo looks like. That's real Soraka. That is a scary line. Uh, Nocturne with the flash. I don't like Nocturne with flash. I like exhaust Nocturne because you can stick on to people. But it, I guess it makes sense since there's very little to exhaust in terms of like damage on this team. Except for like even Ezreal is so damage. A, a lot of it. So. Um, cleanse on gray. I guess just one of those people that always runs cleanse. I guess that works. Um, I mean, everything on this team is cleansable. That's for sure. So if you really want to not be CC, you have that. It was kind of odd. Okay, so let's look at the comp. In the jungle, we have Mundo against the Nocturne. No Nocturne is m probably my favorite jungle, even though I don't usually have very many favorites. Nocturne and Savannah, who I've been picking up recently, are probably my favorite. Um, Mundo, they spawn Dinko early, so is Nocturne. They both have very similar roles, except that Mundo probably scales later into, scales better into late game. Well, um, Nocturne has a little bit of an early game. Um, the bottom lane is going to be Ezreal Raka against James Paris. James Paris is a very aggressive early game, very bursty, um, does a ton of damage with the spells and things. But um, on the other hand, Ezreal, I, I don't know. I really would have anticipated a quirky pick. But I guess it's going to be Ezreal. Um, doesn't scale nearly as hard as the Corky pick would have, and I would have probably picked that. But, um, Ezreal will still. Um, isn't as weak as Corky of the game, but doesn't scale as hard. So, I guess that works if you are afraid of losing the early game. It's something that doesn't lose it that hard and just play safe. I mean, just the Raka, it works. Um, I really like Kogath is very weird. Especially Kogath with, with Teleport. I feel like if Irelia is just going to burst 
like not even burst, but like just harassed down the Togas is incredibly hard. Um, uh, Irela does a lot of damage. And I don't know if Sotas is going to be able to handle it. Um, Tossus Morgana was played out last, um, last game. And it was, it's going to be, the, it's the same people on the, on, on each team actually. Hmm. Um, in terms of general team comp. So, UIC has a very nice front line with the Irelia as the assassin and Morgana and the Mundo as a more literal front line. Um, as real, of course, in the back, kind of be able to put on whatever you want. Um, on the other side. So that's what the team fight from UIC is going to look like. The team fight out of NIU, Noxon is, okay, so the idea is Noxon is going to want to be able to jump on who he wants. And then get them, and then steal them, use the stable to take them out. Um, the problem is, you can't do that to Ezreal because he just, uh, okay, he's just out. Um, Sira you can't do that to, to Soraka because why would you do that to Soraka? Morgana's gonna be Zonia's, and why would you do it to Mundo? Irelia, I don't know, I'm not gonna do anything to Irelia. Um, it does a lot. It relies a little bit on Kilgraf's rupture, in that if Kilgraf lands a good rupture, um, they can follow up on that very well. But it's actually very hard to land those, in my opinion. Um, hey, we're gonna get into the game. For those of you just joining us, you can look at the title, or uh, um, just this is the Azubu College Champions Week Two. In the elite division, which is which is mostly Illinois um, team, but um, also includes the University of Miami. Um, this is UI. This is the University of Illinois. On the blue side, on the purple side, we have um, Northern Illinois University. Um, my name is Terry Yeoman, it's, um, Henry Cow. I am the coordinator for the UIUC team. Um, this is the A team for the Social Training Club. The B team is, I believe not, I, I believe has a buy with this week because they are facing a team that isn't playing for some reason. So, it's a bye week. Um, okay, let's see what's going to happen. Um, everyone but Ezreal has a skin on the UIC side, on the NIU side, looks like it's just Haunting Nocturne. I'm so jealous of that Haunting Nocturne. So jealous of the Haunting Nocturne. I picked up Nocturne actually right after the Halloween event, and I didn't, and I, so I wasn't able to pick that up. Um, yeah, so skin advantage didn't really help UIC in that last game, but, but it's it's a lot stronger this time. Let's we'll see how well that works out for them. Kilgath needs to load faster so we can actually get into this game. Mm -hmm. And once we get into the game, I'm going to introduce everybody. Um, once we get into the game, which is something that should happen soon. Okay. Representing the University of Illinois, we have um, Jaywad on Morgana, Brimlock on Irelia, Lunik on Mundo, Utah's Terrence Raka, Grandlyshot on Ezreal. Representing Northern Illinois University, we have Lost Runner on Tossus, um, Wallace Boy 71 on Terrace, Jackal 124 on Togas, um, Clayarch 87 on Nocturne, and a Catastrophe on Graves. Um, NIU is up one in this best of three. This is game two, so UIUC has to win this if they want to win the match. Uh, NIU wants to win this in order to close it out. Um, UIUC gonna be. Well, this is So if they come in. That could be bad. 
and it looks like they are going to try to invade. Nocturne is um, going to start his blue. That is blue, that makes sense. Where did Nocturne start? Oh god, actually they're invading too. Um, no. Just a call on to the um, blue buff. I mean, for Dale. And this first is warded, but I don't think they see... Yeah, they didn't, they didn't see them. There's no pain there. And, um, looks like they're just gonna... A Lunatic is gonna be able to, to cleanly take this. God damn it, Gay, why you're supposed to leave that. Kevin being bad at things again. God damn it. Looks like is going to try to... Oh, God. Um, yeah, well, he does get that. And, um, the red is going to be stolen rather cleanly. Um, Nakon's going to come down for a level 1 danger, it looks like. He hasn't taken a second to kill. Ash, uh, looks like he's going to try to, um, take the red buff. That may not be the best idea. Um, there are a few things coming down. They do definitely see him, and Morgana's going to come down try to do something about this. Nocturne did not actually get the smite. It um, is at this stage of smite, and oh god, he's going to take a lot of damage. The buff is there, and oh god, taking so much damage. The potion did run. He is running his health pot. That is working, but um, he is without a flash. That was a flash, and he is going to be able to get... Uh, oh god, first blood going... To Morgana, actually, Azur uh, didn't even have to do that, um, and that was very well played. Morgana with the blue buff at level at level one is not going to. This Cossack is going to be very upset. I guarantee it. Um, and Nocturne, I don't know what he can do. I mean, his blue buff is neither of his buffs are there, so he's going to try to he, he's going to try to jungle without them. Gaywad is going to be very happy about this. He has his blue buff at level 1 with Madonna. Just going to be able to do so much to this process. And, um, okay. Um, a ping heal by NIU. Looks like they're going to, not, they're trying to call for a gank, but I mean, Nocturne, I, I mean, if, if the gank worked, Nocturne would definitely be back in business. But, I don't know if that would, if, um, that would actually work. Nocturne is going to try to jungle, but he's definitely behind. Looks like a gank is going to come up onto the Azalea. Azalea, um, is, does not see him quite just quite yet. Does get the level 4 off, and he's going to run. Nocturne is here. Nocturne does take the field. Um, the sun does come down, sending him, oh god, the sun, and the, but the field does, the field leaf does break because of a flash, and Irelia is going to be able to get out relatively safely. Nocturne, um, and he's going to be pretty fast. Um, Luna, having both buffs, having Shabby, and he's Ward, like a good jungler, and UIUC is definitely ahead at this point. Um, you mean gonna donate? Um, Mundo is gonna donate to this, it looks like. Huh. Um, it looks like. I believe this is actually in vain, but he needs to be able to actually get there in order to kill it. Oh, it's just gonna run out. Seems like a little bit of a waste. Quite unfortunate. And oh boy. Oh my god, so much damage. The first blood does go down to Lunix, but. The rest of the camera hates me, so it wants to talk about, wants me to talk about bottom lane instead, while that's going on. The sun did go on to, to, to UTX Kai on the Soraka, not able to follow up on it though. Um, two kills, four nothing, in favor of U of I, very well done. Um, apparently, PC stopped, your module stopped working. Oh god, Soraka taking a lot of damage, Six, and oh boy, he needs to be able to, oh! That is gonna be bad. Soraka, I mean, the Morgana is coming down. It's gonna try to do something about this. I don't know if, yeah. 
the mo- the minions are just in the way. I mean, that's too bad. And uh, what happened there? I don't know. I look like so that's gonna try to make it onto this, so not really work. And the black is good. Try to make the snowball this advantage it's before it gets too powerful in the bottom lane. I would actually recommend a lane swap for um, do I use at this point? Because I really can probably handle it, and uh, Togas probably can. Now, Morgana has had a little bit of an advantage because, well, a big advantage actually, because she's been able to use the um, blue buff to farm, which is pretty nice. But let's see if that turned out well for her. Morgana has. Oh, right, I haven't put this in order yet because I, I forgot to do that. Um, let's do that. Um, Morgana is up 500 gold, that's pretty nice. Um, it's definitely worth that. I guess that's how much blue buff is worth. Oh, right. She also had the free kill. That's a big difference, too. Okay. It's gonna come back with the needlessly large red. Did not, so, wasn't actually up on the farm because of that. So, it does make it a lot easier. For sure. That's for sure. Process looks like he's looking for an opening to out onto something. Guess not. Um,. The ping is, does come down onto Tarsus, so it looks like the same thing Tarsus, obviously. Um, let's see if something can happen here. Um, Nocturne is close by though, and Nocturne is also, Nocturne is a level 6 bit, so I guess not, but... Hmm. What I would... I, I want to see a blue steel. That might, that might be possible, actually. And oh boy, the, the snail goes down impeccably. The flash just barely keeps him in range. JY does pick up the kill. Very well played. And it's going to be 3 to 2. Tons of damage on the Soraka. Oh my god, the oath. The oath and the shred. The Soraka does get out though. And he's going to be, he's going to have to blow a lot of astral blessings on himself though. Was that a Q that didn't hit anything? Wow, that's a little unfortunate. Um, I'm not gonna picking up the blue buff. I'm gonna be able to try to, try, gonna try to do some things like that. More, uh, Luna's gonna come in. Is she gonna be able to get any buttons? I can only focus on two. That was card and, oh god, Togas to teleport in. That is not gonna do anything in there. You can heal, you can heal. Oh god. Wait, was the hero not? Oh, he doesn't have the hero yet. Right. That's pretty bad. Well, Gaylock's gonna come in. Tons of damage coming in. Where is the Nocturnal? I guess he wasn't in range. Yeah, you should know what the range is on your ultimate. Come on. So now, look at those. Actually, he's running a lot of food on reduction. That's a lot of cooldown reduction. Oh my god. That's, that's, that's a... What is he doing? Huh. I don't... Okay, so I know there's a way to like... Oh boy. The power dive is gonna come in. The ultimate from, uh, from Draka baiting it so hard. And <laughs> Nashon goes down. Oh right, the cooldown reduction will keep us to the blue buff, but still, that's, it's just, it can definitely be fast to a lot less cooldown reduction than that. Luna doesn't want to be doing this, that's not a good idea. The stun, a lot of damage, she has to run out. Part to three, in favor of the US, of UIUC at this point. Pretty good. Um, though, not that much of a gold difference. A lot of it was, I guess, could be attributed to Grace having a lot of damage. Um, 
I'm having a lot of DS through Sweet Kills. Um, yeah, Scourge is gonna be scary. A Bloodthirst already at 11 minutes? Really? Yes, he's... So it's a Bloodthirst... Okay, so it's a Bloodthirst already. Oh my god, this poor guy. That is, is a free kill. And Lulu's gonna... Be pretty, yeah, he's gonna be able to get out. It's gonna be fun. Really? Turn around? Oh boy, I don't know if it's the best idea. Yeah, he's not gonna do that. He's gonna get out. So what do we got here? Um, looks like an Ajax? Really? Plus a double GP10 on the show gas. But that's okay. And it looks like it's going to set up. And you UAUC has to make something happen quickly before um, the, the snowball's out of control. That's the problem right now. This is a blood throw show. A blood throw show, and it's half staff. Um, yeah, that's going to be bad. Why are. Oh wow, this guy is going to be pretty sad. A lot of ultimate being blown for the Toga. And is it worth it? From like a shot, fine. It takes a piece to the face and a ton of power shots, but it's going to be fine. He is, he is a Relia, does have a free house on hit. Or he's just going to go back, that works too. Could definitely get the towel if you want it, but I guess he doesn't want it. Um, Kasha's put into the mid lane. Oh my god, that's a nice play though. Kasha's gonna take a lot of damage. Turn off his AoE on accident, looks like. And he's just gonna take the damage, and I guess nothing's gonna happen there, even though it looks like someone, it looks like somebody was gonna die. And they're just gonna take that down the mid tower. They're gonna get a little bit of map control from this. Gonna be pretty nice, and I would anticipate them trying to just means Volcanic and grow more and come down. And oh my god, a lot of damage on her. It's a grandly shot. Not sure, he really doesn't want to be the major, but the stun forces it. Oh god, something has to happen down here. And the ward does is just spot the two coming down, but. Oh god, the test, the, there's no ultimate apparently, but no, the, the um, the extra ultimate picks up a double kill. Very well played. Doug definitely turns around the bottom lane, and now it is two and something gold in favor of UIUC. They're going to pick up the dragon? Pretty uncontested. Um, Cossus and Nassau are definitely in here. Cossus, the, um, there's a ward here. Not just gonna come in, just gonna try to steal it. He does not manage to get that off. Um, look, um, not Volcana. Not gonna with the here. Okay. I, I would recommend them trying to do something about this. But I guess they're not gonna take the test to Bula. Um, that might not have been the best idea. Um, oh boy. Wait. Oh, this is gonna be fine. It's a little scary, though. I mean, Oh, he popped his ultimate. Yeah, not he's definitely fine. We should start getting like a lot more house stuff though. That part of the building is pretty nice, but he needs Well I guess yeah, it's about time for him to stop building right now. Okay, so what do we got from this? We have a uh, stage. Sage is definitely Grandly Shard's favorite item. Um, and probably rightfully so. Considering it's like a Diazreal quirky. Um, and then all of the Bruzos that have Sage. It's a pretty good item. Oh boy. Um, 
does, then I you want to be pushing it. The ultimate, everything being flown by the Shiraka, the field just so down. Oh my god, not one coming in. Jeez, the Shiraka is not going to be very happy. Actually, Luna's taking a lot of stuff. The post field saves Shiraka, barely. The grave goes down. Terrence is going to be picked up as well. Oh my god, maybe not going to go down as well. No, not going to the flash. Just for the ultimate as well. The day one with the amazing zone that he's in. Three kills for the UIUC. Holy crap. Very well played. Um, and it looks like that's going to be a, a towel as well. Um, so. Uh, oh, this towel is well, by the way. Um, Togas is, take, is taking a lot of free stacks. Um, I really need to prevent that from happening. Because if Togas has six free stacks, that negates losing your lane. Because. You have to see that. So, we're going to see something nice built here. Trinity Force immediately out of, yeah, and now, Azil suddenly has a lot more presence than Greg. Just with the existence of that Trinity Force. But that's a little bit more gold. I'm not sure where that comes from, actually. The assists, I guess, are really worth that much. I guess. Um, but Greg's gonna pick up the towel. Perfectly. Makana. Slowly, slowly taking in the blue buff. Source without binding, and gonna be able to go back by herself something like let's do it again. Zanya's and another rod, so it's gonna be Zanya's best tap. Going straight for the damage this time. No rod of ages. Cross is a rod of ages though. No soul shoes. Soul shoes are very good for the old. Like magic penetration in general is very good on Cross, especially. <laughs> So, um, this time UIUC can be a little bit more patient, there's no Sen on the, uh, I don't use size to put a timer on all of the things. Gila doesn't want to be engaging this, do it, don't see. Yeah, um, let's see. Oh boy, oh boy. Decent amount of damage onto the grave, but, so, really? Okay, well, um, Blood Flow Soul is stacked. By the way, which is what I was about to say. So that's going to be pretty scary. They're so going to have to shut down Graves because you don't want that happening in a team fight. Walmart's not. Walmart's window. We. A lot of wow! This is what happens when you have two numerous new large rods. Um, you walk through to like a billion damage, and it's a little bit of overkill to save to save Azrael from that. I feel, but it, it was fine, I guess. Oh my God! Amazingly done! Holy crap! They like taking so much. I guess that didn't work because. He's pretty good, but he's too damaged. He's kind of a noise armor. But it looks like this might be an A for 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 you are you see no Trogas is Trogas has six stacks. That's that is that can can become a problem, but I mean Trogas isn't that scary, but it does prevent the ace obviously. And it does prevent them from following up on the game. But yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, the percent health on this means that you can continue to turn it down so yeah, or you, or they try to get, take down the tower. That would work. It looks like that's going to be the lot. That's going to be the choice this time. Uh, they're going to take down the tower. Let's go down. There we go. Um, you are, and you are used to see it's definitely ahead this game. Um, 6,000 6, gold ahead at 21 minutes. Very nice. Um, and they're going to go for the dragon. Um, that was stolen. Not gonna stop. Look at how that not gonna. Oh my God! The chair, chair is hot. Chair is 
Sogas put forth the plan, and Sogas comes in and tries to save him. Sogas is very sad as well. Um, I was always going to try to know he's not. And he's still going to get the dragon on, on the back of this. Um, I, 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 I really doesn't even need to do that, he's just going to kind of push. And the dragon's going to go down. 7,000 gold in favor of UAUC. Very well played. Hmm, 22 minutes in, 17 to 4. Oh my god, the, that even, that, the, the leaf didn't even do anything because it was so immune. But, but the end, right? Oh boy, so that's are taking a lot of pain. I really need those food on this to be able to turn the stars a little bit more. Oh, that's a really nice animation. Oh, I'm like putting it on. So, um, Grimlock's not going to be taking the red buff, and after that, he's going to come back to it. And probably, well, I guess, yeah. Okay, so I guess it's about time where they started to trust their own dragon, and so that seems to recognize it. Ludic might want to engage on this. Yeah, he does. Um, and I guess so that. Um, this one to run. It does land two cleavers, takes about two, uh, a fourth of Togas' health, which is pretty nice. And, um, yeah, Togas has three stacks on the feet, which is what happens after you die with six stacks. Um, we're gonna wanna farm those up before the next game fight, and we're gonna be doing that now. We. What are you building? So there's a frozen heart, which is pretty nice. Um, very good again. Uh, I, I, I really have to steal two only off of the past two. You can see that it was done. Um, as well, today, of course, Frozen Hearts going to be pretty good. So yeah, Frozen Hearts a good pick up. Um, and of course, um, no, no, no. Never mind, I had a different thought there. No, no, it's mostly not anything. How is, how is this going? It seems to be going pretty well. Just leave and deal with that. And Mundo with also is just going to start clearing wood. So, UIUC can either try to take this in hit or they can go forward with the dragon. Look at all of these wards, by the way. Just beautiful. This warding is impeccable by Saraka. Very good job to UTF Kai for that and to the other team members who also participate in warding. You can see Mundo and, and um, and Morgana also for warding. And they can just see as soon as people are coming in. But they are going to catch them out of position because they didn't expect them to be there. It's very good. Um, a ton of the damage being cut down so much early. And I guess the Dragon is going to cancel out everything. Morgana goes down, which is something that happens when you flash into the middle of the team. But it's going to be four. 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 The, the Morgana. And they're going to be able to pick up Bob, they're, they're going to, I guess they're going to try to pick off the turret from this. Um, Graves is going to be able to try to do some stuff with this, but I don't know how well that's going to work. Um, Lunik on the moon though, is going, I mean, Luna could have changed that, I guess, but I guess he didn't want to. So, so, so it's going to go down, because it's probably going to be in here as well. People are starting to come up, but, the inhibit's coming down incredibly quickly. And... The inhibit's down, and UIC needs to back out now. Yeah, they're gonna back out the flash onto the... Oh boy, you can start taking a lot of pain. It says, yeah, you fall extremely quickly. Very well played, touching the Draka out of position. So, um, looks like... The... what's it called? The... The Mundo sacrificed himself to get... The ADK and the Irelia out of there. Um, looks like they're gonna try to go for the Baron. I don't know if they're gonna. I don't know if they're strong enough to try to do this. There's definitely there's three heroes who can kind of disrupt them, and all of them are pretty decent pulse. Um, yeah, they can definitely do this. And if they were to engage improperly, you you could actually win this three v five. Not one is definitely. Not going to start out and take him down. The game is 
he was also a good shot too. Oh, almost a good shot too. What happened to Oh, it's talking to Yeah, talking to that. I'm like, wait. The still got going to go down as well. He only starts shooting one of you. He takes out the carrot. He could have probably focused the game. But, um, yeah, okay. So, that was 3v5, and the three died, but they got four for uh, NIU, and they're supposed to run. Is it a bit of a bad buff? Probably try, um, pushing out one of the other lanes. They are going to naturally push the force, because that's how, uh, how, um, the unit works, but at the same time, they should probably try pushing out the top. The tier 3 is not even down. I mean, come on. Yeah, looks like, looks like they're going to be doing that. While, um, NIU is pretty much just stuck in the base. So that's a 2 b stack for them. And with that, really, with that on the show gas. That's pretty interesting, actually. I, it's not something I thought of before. Um, I guess it makes sense. Because you have the E that is an on hit effect, and you can stack other on hit effects on top of it. At the same time, it's quite odd. Um, not, not going to be so low in dragon. You should be able to pick that up relatively easily, unless you are used to some explosion storm. And Nacho doesn't have the image damage, so that's, it's entirely possible that Nacho should be caught out. He is level 11. What are they doing? There we go. There's an. And there is you are used to noticing that Nacho is soloing dragon, and they're going to pick up the dragon for instead. Nacho taking a lot of free to the face from the, from the Ezreal. I, I need to start doing um, the free thing where you call the names instead of calling them cues. So it's Ezreal's mystic shot, like that's what it is. So it's taking a lot of mystic shots to the face. That's what I meant to say. Um, because yeah, like I, I know there are a lot of people who say like, well, you're masking your lack of game knowledge by calling, by like just pretending you know what you're talking about by calling out the name. But calling out the name does have to work through the casting a lot, I feel. But it's just something that I just don't know a lot of the names. Like, what is this? Is it infected Cleveland? Yeah. This is sadism. No, this is sadism. And this is my, so like, I, I, I don't know uh, a lot of the names, but I feel like I should. Um, the UIUC is going to take that to Sour. Very nice, um, after the one on to the Azalea, shooting them with a lot of attacks too. Um, and tries to engage him on top of that, but isn't able to. But, um, this thing had, yes, I think it's going to be down for a while. And so they're going to have to send somebody to take care of it. Like, somebody has to. Probably multiple people. And when that happens, we can just take out the turret. Right? We can just take out the turret because you should do that. No? Okay. Now, I've been taking a lot of pull. I mean, that's kind of silly. You can kind of just press, like, if you feel like you're going to get hit really hard, just press um, your W, your shield. I don't know. The engagement goes up. Grimlock taking a ton of punishment for not being in the end. It's a pretty nice song here. Then it's step three, but it does go down. And that does not work out very well. Not very nice knock on ultimate. Is it going to be able to pick up the time it looks like? No, the exhaust comes down at just the right time. And they are going to be able to run. There, there are no slows on this team, actually. Uh, Luna is going to sacrifice himself. Which is, which is a good call. It's not really a good call. That's how it went down. And this one here is going to come down as well. Wait for that to happen. No, the minions don't like doing logical things. They're going to attack other minions instead of the uh, being head. Does that make sense? That is something that makes sense. Except it's not at all. Not at all. You know, like, why? Why can't the minions just attack what you want them to? Let's see what is that here. Lunda has a Vanduin. Vanduin is doing very good against Ray. Pretty nice. And it's just a good slow against everybody. It makes sense. Huh. So, 
now you have two opening inhibitors, so it may not be the best idea for them to try to take the dragon, but, I mean, not the dragon, the baron, maybe, to try to do the baron dance because it's always, there's always a danger that someone's just going to put off and back roll with their inhibitors, which is really bad. But, you are used to know that they're too wards you. And you're actually just going to take up both of them. Pretty nice. Um. Huh. It looks like instead of trying to go for Baron, they're, they're just going to try to go for the end. It's a, good, it's a pretty nice call, I guess. Um, the part that this, of course, does depend on them being able to actually pick up the end. I don't know if they will be able to. And they are going to engage on top of this, it looks like. Lunas, yeah, going in on this, and it's kind of damage being going set, set up. Lunas is going to survive because he's new, though. And looks like a lot of damage being done. I can't really keep track of everything that's going on. The Grimley thought apparently this is too. I don't think a lot of. I'm not sure if a lot of that was actually the damage. But, um, he can then pick it up. So, the one inhib is going to go down. The bottom inhib, I guess, is also going to go down. And then they're going to, after this, they can definitely get the band because if they, because if they try to get the band with them, um, so they're just going to lose because they're going to be down. Very nice. Um, oh boy. Oh boy. No reason to be fine. Thankfully. Um, nice. That's Aurelia. They are going to go for the Baron, and after the Baron, looks like they're just going to win off of that. Um, bottom is actually being pushed, but there's a super minion, so it's no longer going to be pushed. Um, the Baron's going to be taken down extremely quickly, and they're not going to have, they're not going to have a chance. Um, you're going in the wrong direction. That's, that's not a good idea. This is a nice good idea. How much damage on the day watch? And it just, it's just kind of initiated off of it, but it may not be the best idea. But the only thought apparently still takes the, the knockout for some reason? I don't know. Just, is, is it able to, oh god, the throws. I'm not sure what happened with Irelia, but Irelia got killed still. So it's 3v5 here if you are used to want to engage, and I don't think they do. Um, but they do have the band buff, they do have the two inhibitors, so they can relax, they can um, start taking it. They can take the buff as they come up and push in when they're ready. It's fine. Um, let's take a look at this. Um, we have Infinity Four, Blood Throw Still, Let's Whisper. I don't know. It's pretty nice. Um, this looks like it's a, um, is that a phase? And then, oh, it's a Frozen Mallet. Pretty good. Um, another Infinity Four. Then we have Freak on this team, obviously with Freak in the forces. So, oh boy. I'm gonna try to, what is he doing? What was that? Oh, huh, okay. I, I, I have to assume that was Smith. Oh, or he's just going for Dragon. But that doesn't make any sense though, because he wasn't. Whatever. Force an H on the Cho'Gath. Um, so Cho'Gath is just building generic resistances. Very nice. Three <laughs> super minions here. Nathan actually might have been in trouble though. They've been to save them. The so super minions have a lot of health. Um, I'm a little bit tired here. Cast me for too long. The top tower is going to go down to you, are you see? Um, and it looks like they are going to push into to the base. Luna's taking... It's not... It, it doesn't matter, he's Moondo. What am I talking about? 
but they're not they're gonna be able to push in. These are gonna be up relatively soon, I think. I don't have a timer on those. But whatever. So something I find really interesting about this is that both of these teams actually do have like legit legitimate like pure tanks with the Mundo and the Toga. It's not something that you normally find, like you normally have like Druzo tanks. But these are like almost pure tanks. Just something I thought felt was interesting. And this toad is gonna go down. I guess they're not gonna go for the turret. They really should be. Yeah, there we go. And the forward of the does go off down. So, so that's so true. We're gonna pop the turret because the three is done. Oh, actually, so, actually, um, well, what is it? This is barely out of the thing. But it's gonna go down. Wow, that is a weird thing about that house. Oh, she was already in town. Mm -hmm. So. There we go. And this is going to be GG. The first second game is going to go to UIUC, and we are going to go to a game three in the series. And my voice is going to die in the next round. Oh my god. GG, 37 minute game. Second game goes to UIUC. Um, thanks for watching. I have game three shortly. Uh, Huh. Um, feel free to be